Hello students, I welcome you all once again to the e-learning sessions of automobile engineering. Myself Hardik Shah and during this lecture series, we will discuss some interesting topics in the subject of automobile engines. Okay, We are starting a new chapter today that is the fuel systems for the SI engines. Okay, And today we will learn about the carburetors. Okay? So I hope you will see this video till end to completely understand this topic and its types okay and gain your skills in automobile engineering i also request you all to note down queries during the lecture if it arises and ask it in a comment section below so i will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible okay so now let's start our today's video so first of all let's see some basic introduction of this chapter so in any engine the combustion of the fuel with the oxygen in the combustion chamber provides the energy necessary to drive the piston okay that we all know so in si engine the liquid fuel and the air are generally mixed prior to their uh, you can say arrival in a combustion chamber that means it is outside chamber okay or you can say outside engine cylinder now the process of preparing this mixture is called carburation okay so the basic fuel supply system in any petrol engine it consists of the fuel tank thereafter fuel lines thereafter fuel pump fuel filters thereafter air cleaners and carburetors okay and thereafter inlet manifold so the system is responsible for preparing this correct mixture of the air and the fuel and directing this mixture to the each of the cylinders which is known as the induction system okay and it is done by the intake manifold so it is the ducting or you can say piping through which the fuel and air mixtures travel from the carburetor to the, the cylinder okay so the throttle in the carburetor it regulates the quantity of the mixture which is entering the cylinder so the carburetor is a device which actually atomizes the fuel and it mixes it with the air okay so this is the basic need of the carburetor now fuel mixture requirements of the si engine let's see all of them one by one so in stationary engines the desired air fuel ratio means that gives the maximum economy okay so the actual air fuel mixture requirements in an operating engine vary uh, you can say it uh, varies under the variable speed and loading condition so the uh, air fuel ratio must change based on the maximum over required okay so also required uh, air fuel ratio must be provided for the transient condition also like starting a warm up engine thereafter acceleration etc so in all these conditions the exhaust emission should be minimum okay now in steady state operation that means uh, continuous operation okay at a given speed or you can say uh, over uh, with normal engine temperature okay in a steady state condition of the automobile engines there are basically three main areas which are requiring different air fuel ratios okay in each of this the engine requirement differs okay so as a result the carburetor has to modify the air fuel ratio to satisfy this demands okay which are these ranges so first one is idling so it is called the mixture must be enriched thereafter cruising so in this case the mixture must be leaned and the third one is high power so again in this case mixture uh, mixture must be enriched okay so this is the basic requirement of the carburetor next is what is carburetor so basically a carburetor is a device we can say it blends the air and fuel from the internal combustion engine okay so the carburetor works on the bernoulli's principle the faster the air moves the lower its static pressure and the higher its dynamic pressure okay so the throttle or you can say accelerator it does not directly control the flow of the liquid fluid instead it is actually actuating the carburetor mechanism okay which meters the flow of the air being pulled into the engine okay so the speed of this flow and therefore its pressure determines the amount of the fuel which is drawn into the air stream done so when the carburetors are used in aircraft with you can say piston engines the special designs and the features are needed to prevent the fuel starvation during the inverted flight okay so later these engines used an early form of fuel injection which is known as the pressurized carburetor okay so under all these on, uh, engine operating conditions the carburetor must uh, do these things okay so uh, first one it should measure the airflow of the engine 
देर आफ्टर इट शुड डिलीवर द करेक्ट अमाउंट ऑफ द फ्यूअल टू कीप द एयर फ्यूअल मिक्सचर इन अ प्रॉपर रेंज ओके दैट मीन्स एडजस्टिंग इट फॉर द फैक्टर अकॉर्डिंग टू टेम्परेचर ओके एंड देर आफ्टर मिक्सिंग द टू finally and evenly mixing it uh, very finely and the evenly okay so the carburetor basically consists of an open pipe through which the air passes into the inlet manifold of the engine so the pipe is in the form of the venturi because it is having the narrow section in between and then it widens again okay so it is causing the air flow to increase its speed in a narrowed part okay so uh, here uh, you can also see the venturi is a kind of butterfly valve it is called a throttle valve is a rotating disc that can be turned uh, turned and on to completely blocks the flow of the air now this valve controls the flow of the air through the carburetor throats and thus the quantity of the air fuel mixture that the system will deliver okay so thereby it is regulating the engine power and the speed so the throttle is connected usually through a cable or you can say a mechanical linkage of the rod and joints or readily by the pneumatic links to the accelerator pedal on a car or to the equivalent control on the vehicles okay so this is the basic equipment for the acceleration so the fuel is now introduced into the air stream through the small hole you can say jet at the narrowest part of the venturi so uh, what happens and uh, at other places where the pressure will be lowered when not running on a full throttle condition so now the fuel flow is adjusted by means of this a uh, precisely calibrated orifice which is referred to as a jet okay so in a fuel path so this was the basic working of the single jet carburetor okay how it works so now let's see what are the different types so basically there are three types natural draft carburetor up draft and a down draft carburetor okay let's see all of them one by one first one is natural draft carburetor so in this carburetor it is used where there is a little space on a top of the engine so the horizontally uh, the air horizontally uh, goes into the manifold in this system next is up draft carburetor what is that this type of uh, carburetor is placed low on the engine and uses the gravity fed fuel system so in other words the tank is above the carburetor and the fuel falls into it from the tank so even this carburetor uses the gravity to receive the fuel from the tank but the air fuel mixture must be forced upward into the engine because it is up draft carburetor okay next is down draft carburetor what is that so this carburetor is actually uh, operates with a lower air velocities and larger passages so this is because gravity assist the air fuel mixture flow to the cylinder so it is on above side cylinder is below okay so the down draft carburetor can provide large volume of the fuel when needed for the high speed and the high power carburetor uh, high power output for this condition okay now there are other two types also first one is constant choke carburetor and the second one is a constant vacuum carburetor okay so what is that so let's discuss all of them uh, both of them one by one so first one is what is constant choke carburetor so constant uh, choke carburetor is the type of the carburetor in which the air and the fuel flow areas is always kept constant okay this is important so in constant choke carburetor the air fuel ratio is changed due to varying pressure differences or you can say depression as per the demand okay so this type of carburetor should have a compensating device to avoid any enrichment of the air fuel mixture with increase in the speed okay uh, some of the carburetors like solex carburetor and zenith are of this type that is a constant choke okay next is constant vacuum carburetor what is that so in constant vacuum carburetor it is sometimes also known as a variable choke or you can say variable choke and variable venturi carburetor so in this type of the carburetor the air and the fuel flow uh, areas is actually varied as per the demand okay so the air speed is set to a good uh, atomization of the fuel over the full engine speed okay so under all the running conditions the pressure depression or you can say vacuum is maintained to be constant so this overcomes the need of the compensating devices which are used in a constant choke carburetor okay some of the carburetor are are like a carter carburetor it is one type of constant vacuum carburetor okay so this is it in this session we have discussed about the basic fuel system 
Thereafter, we have also discussed about the simple carburetor. Okay, and thereafter, we have discussed about the different types of the carburetor. Okay, these are the some some of the important question. First one is simple carburetor, or you can say explain the working of simple carburetor, and thereafter types of carburetors. Okay, from this session. So that's it in today's session. We will uh, see about the MPFI system and the some more things about the carburetor in next session. So let's see you in next session. Thank you so much. Goodbye.